This large female giraffe probably was walking around the pool and had fallen into it. People came together to help this poor animal. The girl started to be nervous when people came closer. One man jumped right into the pool and 14 other people were trying to pull out the giraffe. After, five more people joined. So it was a whole crowd that tried to help the giraffe. They all used their strength. Finally, the giraffe was out of the pool. The next step was to turn her out and put the girl in a right position. The giraffe suddenly stood up and ran away to freedom. You're welcome, honey. One research biologist rescued a male orphan manatee calf. The baby was two or four weeks old. Manatee calves are known to nurse from their mother for one to two years and would not have survived on its own. Look how people take care of him. He's now at a rehabilitation before his eventual return to the wild. Now you're in a safe place, baby. Look at this dangerous rescue operation of an Indian jackal that fell in a well. Nervous and stressed, the jackal was running around the well trying to figure out where he was. It was not an easy rescue at all. The jackal resisted his rescue and tried to attack the man. Finally, he caught this dangerous animal and put him in a bag. The poor fellow broke out of the net and ran away. Such a brave and noble mission. A rescue team received a call about a homeless dog living under an RP. The dog kept crawling under it. They caught her easily, even without a cheeseburger. Finally, they got her. With the lucky leash, they were ready to go to the hospital. They spent a few hours shaving and cleaning her up. Her life is about to change so much. She transformed a lot. Haley was wagging her tail for the first time. Shortly afterwards, foster home rescuers found her her loving forever home. Dreams do come true. Wow, such an inspiring story for Haley. This poor stray dog's name is Bianca. She was very friendly with everyone from the first meeting. Thank God someone had given her food and water and helped her survive until rescuers were informed. The dog was here alone and was really glad when people came. Someone decided to get rid of her and just left her there. She got a health check at the vet. Afterwards, she remained in a foster house for a while. The new life was waiting for her. Good news coming, a wonderful family found her. Now Bianca enjoys her new life and home. We are so happy for her. This dramatic footage shows a large scale rescue of stranded whales on a remote Scottish island. 10 poor whales were beached, with around seven locals and a volunteer from a rescue company helping to save the animals. Luckily, they managed to save all of them. That's such a relief. After receiving an emergency call, a marine medic drove 175 miles with rescue equipment to help the whales. So now all of the whales are safe and healthy, and they're back in the ocean where they belong. Gates Wildlife Control was called out to rescue a baby skunk that had fallen into a six-foot hole in a graveyard. Rescuers needed to be extra careful to prevent the skunk from spraying since the funeral was happening so soon. They got only two hours for the whole operation to get this skunk out. This young skunk looks to be about two and a half months old. He got away from his mommy and fell into the gravesite here. He's not taking kindly to the net. Hopefully this guy will not spray. Finally, the skunk was pulled out. This humane release went about as good as it possibly could. The baby didn't spray, and now he can happily reunite with his mom. Be careful, baby. Sweetie. Hi, buddy. A poor cat was escaping something and climbed right up on a high tree. Rescuers rushed up to help him. He was screaming and crying up there. He was such a scared poor baby. When the rescuer got to him, he put the nervous cat into a bag. Hi, sweetie. So happy to be down, aren't you? You're welcome. Bye, buddy. This angry cat got in trouble. 
his leg got stuck in a net. So aggressive, he wouldn't trust people at all. So much stress for this baby. He was screaming so desperately and aggressively. After realizing he ran away so fast to his mom. At this time of year, calls to rescue mallard families from various situations are quite common. This nice pond on the roof can be very attractive for nesting, but also really dangerous. Rescuers came there as quickly as they could. They're gonna try to get the babies and then re-release them somewhere close by. Using a net, rescuers caught the whole family. They're not gonna fall off a building again. The babies were released together with their mom to the nearest pond. You've gotta stop nesting here every year. It's important to keep young animals that need help warm and quiet. When young animals need help, it's important to keep them warm and quiet. They're clumsy and helpless. They can easily get too cold, overheat, or get stuck in things. Two days is a long time for babies to be cold and without food. Rescuers came to help these guys. They're taking down a cotton gin, and they found some owls that live in the tubing. But then rescuers realized that the youngest baby was actually stuck to the bottom of that grating. His little knees were caught in the triangles. Then they had to cut him out of there. He's gonna get raised in a foster house and then released back out into the wild. Let's take care of these guys and give them more homes for the future. A poor juvenile bird had become lost inside an active construction site. One of them had flown off the nest, but he got stuck behind some scaffolding, so he can't find his way out or up. It was a bit of a climb to get to where the falcon had last been spotted. The bird was quite vicious and nervous when rescuers used a net, and then put him into a cage. Such a beautiful bird. The nest is completely vacant at the moment. Rescuers popped him back in the nest. They positioned the cage in front of the nesting box. The peregrine just needed to take the final step out onto the ledge. There you go. You got freedom now. An elderly couple first saw this dog lying in a field alone. They felt sorry for it and searched for an organization to help it. No house is here to give her food and water. She was in bad condition. She couldn't even walk. In the vet, they realized she had several health issues. She's around 14 years old and nobody knows how much from it she spent on the street. She had small wounds everywhere, also ticks and fleas. Look at those sad and old eyes. Those eyes have seen a lot, probably. Day by day, she started to feel stronger, and later she was ready to leave the hospital. The same couple who first found her is the one who offered her a home. They're elderly, too, and can feel her needs. Her name is Liza, and she has a home until the end of her life. That story is so heartwarming. Wow, really amazing stories. These people show a great example of indifference and rejection in order to save poor animals. What story was the most heartwarming for you? Share in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you!